My name is Aurora Rasson. Uh, what I like in life is to make people people shine. So I make uh, people shine because I run a um, personal branding agency which is called My Sunny Brand. I make brand shine because I run a um, public relation agency which is called Spark Relations Public. I make women shine because I'm the president of the women association in Marseille called Femme Chef d'Entreprise and I make my territory shine as I'm an elected, I'm an elective at the Chamber of Commerce in Marseille. And also, I just graduated actually last year um, from the Career Thought Leaders uh, program in the USA run by William Arruda and I'm now a personal branding strategist. Personal branding online is a way you market yourself on the social networks, but not only on the social networks, all the footprints you leave on the web, whether you run a blog, whether you write some post on the media, and obviously the way you talk on your social networks. So it's all about marketing yourself, the, the way you do it in real life, uh, but on the web. So as we mentioned, personal branding is all about branding yourself, uh, market yourself online. So what you want to do is when you, you want to start with a SWOT analysis, you want to evaluate exactly what are your strengths, your weaknesses, the opportunities and the threats. The threats should be uh, what the others uh, will do, for example, somebody else that could be uh, hired instead of you. But you want to work on uh, your strengths because on personal branding uh, you write, you work particularly on your strengths. So you want to uh, make sure what makes you unique and be different. Afterward, you're going to do to have a plan, a marketing plan, a communication plan. But to do this, you need first to extract. Extract is all about um, knowing yourself. You want to know what is your vision, what is your mission, what motivates you, what are your passions, what makes you different. It's not very easy, is it, when you're a student because you, you're young, you don't have that much experience, but you need to, still, to start working on who you are and what makes you unique to work on your authenticity. Then, secondly, you want to express yourself. Express yourself has to do with your communication plan. How are you going to do to tell your story to the world? Um, you want to um, express yourself to do a plan whether um, to know more about what are your objectives, who are your targets, because depending on all of this, you're going to um, make a plan, a very customized plan. Whether you're able, you're keen on writing, you're going to want to write some articles, maybe even publish them on your own blogs, maybe you're better at public talking, so you're going to have, you're going to do some homework with your friends and you're going to want to um, make some video out of them, or you want to uh, become a YouTuber, maybe you want as well to, um, let's say, yeah, you want to um, be a part of, uh, you want to become an influencer and uh, be a part of an association as well, for example, so that you are, uh, you, you tell more about what are your passions. So all this, you want to make a plan of this. And now that you have the plan, uh, that you, exp you have expressed yourself, you know where you want to go, depending on your objectives and your targets and your vision and your missions, you want to exude yourself. You want to make sure that your brand, your environment is aligned with your brand. How shall you dress? If you want to work in the uh, um, sport industry, do you really need to wear a suit? Um, if you want to talk, uh, to do an internship abroad, shall you take, shall you talk, shall you publish, write in English, in different languages as well, on your social network, so, yeah, so that it does exudes what you want to do. If you want to um, work as a, in, in, in the industry, maybe you want to talk about what is uh, the economy all about. This is um, all about what you need to really align with your brand.